Hello everyone, welcome to Ignition. And today we're going to look at the brand new Jeep Wagoneer. Sexy. So this is a first from Jeep. I haven't seen the car looking this classy for ages from Jeep. Well, it's caught me slightly by surprise because I had no idea that this No, it just popped out of nowhere. For really. us. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, as Jeep fanboys. Yeah, we um, love them. We should have known that this was going on, but it's it's got, to me, it's got whiff of uh, the Cadillac Escalade. It has massively. Escalade? Escalade. Escalade, Escalade. I'm not sure how Who Americans knows? will pronounce it different to us. Yeah. Because um, um, we don't really keep up with the American cars as such. No, well, um, I, not I, as much. I read Motor Trend and that yeah. hasn't been in it. No, this just sort of, for me and you, popped up out the blue, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I normally, Motor Trend magazine, um, which you, you all know I love and I'm hoping you're watching me do it. Yeah. Um, normally this pops up, but I've not seen it in there, no. mind you. I, you know, I do read with my eyes closed. Oh, well, I was watching YouTube the other night and it popped up and went, whoa, what's that? Oh, and it's, it's a bit of a beast, isn't it? Well, it's got the, uh, a whiff of Commander. It has, Which yeah. The is old, an insult. Yeah, the old commander was very ugly, but yeah. this is this is like you say. Got How a many bit times of a... did we think about buying a commander? Oh, well, can't count them all on my fingers. Because they were giving them away in the UK. Yeah, yeah, they, they were ridiculously cheap, and they were, they were quite a good car. They were all right when you think about it. It was a good car, um, but this one, this is taking it to a bit of a new I mean, level. Those lights. Uh, I've never, I mean, we've just watched the Skoda, the new EV, and that's got a lit grill on the top mm, models, but this has. is taking it really, um, yeah. and wood in the, the wood lights. in the lights, that's awesome. Oh. That, is, that is a little bit of class, and the wheels are massive. Um, well, how would you clean those? N well, no idea, you'd be because forever. They're little, they're little slots in there, aren't they? They are, they almost um, look like um, air deflectors. Yeah, we'd, sort of be, we'd be having oh, the old um, earbuds out earbuds, on those. Yeah, you'd be using those cotton buds, but it's, it's a bit of a beauty, but it's a, I think it's a bit of a marmite. I think some people will love it, and some people will hate it. Well, I'm not, I haven't fully, I mean, the inside, I think is stunning. Other um, than it's an OD of screens. It is, but from the front, I think it looks very aggressive. Very yeah. aggressive. The, and the quality, the really. In, the inside is stunning. There's yeah. no getting away from that. It is stunning. And it, they, they're promoting the leg space uh, for the rear passengers. So it's clearly a family car. Um, and blimey, if you are, well, when I was younger and I, if I travelled in the back of that, I'd be uh, wet in my pants. Look at it. But the, just the, the start start stop button there which is knurled with glass and then leather and behind. wood i think as well yeah oh i mean they've really certainly gone for some serious quality just the gear here. selector looks like crystals it looks awesome um and apparently that's real wood with some sort of marquetry inlay for the right. grand wagoneer yeah. so and we're led to believe we're going to be hitting the eighty thousand dollars yeah eighty thousand plus but in the scheme of things when you're hitting up a, i mean you're definitely they're attacking Range Rover. Oh, for sure, yeah. Well, the quality here, they've upped their game um, completely. I mean, we've always liked the Grand Cherokee. That's always been a premium feeling car. Um, but this is absolutely massive. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, look at that. That's, yeah, that, um, that's a bit of beauty. Yeah, that. yeah, that is really, really nice. Yeah. And it looks like it's very, very set up for passengers. Yes. Doesn't it? Um, it's certainly, uh, you know, that, that's set up to do some serious long distances yeah. in, in extraordinary comfort. But everything is not very Jeep-like because no. everything stinks of quality. It does, Only yes. from photographs, but... Yeah, but it does look like it's built beautifully. Um, you, but can, I, you can still tell, can't you, even from photographs? Yeah, yeah, you can. And I can smell that car. It smells nice. It does. That's going to smell nice. <laughs> Yeah, no, not when you're in it. No, not when I'm in it, but when it's new, that looks nice. And it, they've gone to a lot of detail on little things, which is nice to see. Um, but there still looks to me, um, unless I'm mistaken, obviously you've got slider switches for the heater controls, which yeah. I don't like. Um, and But it looks like you've still got a volume knob. Yes, that's a big thing. Um, rear that... screen. It's gone screen overload. I mean, I everyone... think so. I think Th there's too many. That's just an old man thing, I think. Yeah, no, no, but I do think there's a little bit too much in there. Um, I heard them talk about putting in a fireplace mode. Do you need that? No, you don't. Do you need to turn the screens to a fireplace? I don't think so. No, no, you can play, in, and apparently you can put a fireplace on all of the screens. I, Why I would you want I that? I don't need that. I don't need that either. But, I mean, we're not going to be the people who are buying that. 
Oh, well, I'd like to be the person. I'd like to, that. but I'm not sure we will. Um, um, but I think it's aimed at obviously big families, and um, it's it's a beast. That's all I can say. Look it at is. It. It's a, the Honda E, the little Honda E, and they've got the fish tank on the dashboard. Yeah, I, it a just, little bit. It isn't doing it for me. No, but I suppose some tech whizzes would like that. Bloody nice at the back. It is. It's a square old thing. We yeah. do like us. We like square sort of traditional shaped cars. We do, and I, I like the American flag on it. Mm. I, I, and the back looks absolutely yeah. stunning. Yeah, the emblems, the whole, the, all the lighting. Um, Jeep's not on, on it right much, though, is it? It's not. No, it's just ground wagoneer. But I do hope they bring out a wooden sort of vinyl wrap. That would be quite a cool Ooh. touch. You know, oh, I'd like in, real wood in homage to the old one. Um, yeah, I mean the wheels and everything, it, it is a looker. It is. But we should probably take a little snifter at the launch video. Okay. Should yeah, we do yeah. that? Let's do it. Can you roll it? I can, let's go. Isn't it? Let me explain our vision for Grand Wagoneer. It will not be simply another Jeep SUV. It comes from the same roots and experience, but it will evolve into something new, very distinctive and unique. Because the customer is different, the values are different, the essence is different. The Jeep customer loves traveling, camping, and fishing the Wagoneer driver would rather go golfing on the finest courses or cruising on their sailboat. One seeks fun to drive and capability. The other one goes for styling and comfort. Jeep stands for freedom, adventure, and passion. Wagoneer means timeless design, authenticity, and refined sophistication. The essence of Jeep is in the extraordinary journey you make with it. If Jeep was a house, it would be a cabin in the wood. Wagoneer, a glass house on the ocean. If there were a city, Jeep would be Jackson Hole and Wagoneer, New York. If there were a road trip, Jeep would be the Rubicon Trail, Wagoneer, a beautiful snowy road in the Rockies. If it was a water activity, Jeep, would be a jet ski or a kayak. Wagoneer, a custom-made boat. In our vision, Wagoneer will become a portfolio of SUVs that will redefine American premium and delivers a unique customer experience. Designed to authentically personify the entrepreneurial spirit, distinction, and intelligence of our customers. That is the reason why Grand Wagoneer is coming back to life. To tell new stories and make new memories, to stand out. And when Wagoneer comes to life, it won't be just the best premium SUVs out there, it will have it all. The comfort and luxury of a premium vehicle, the seating capacity and versatility to travel in style with premium space, the towing of a pickup truck, and SUV capability, the safety and coziness of a family home, and the richness of a dream loft. And all of this will be wrapped in the most elegant body you could ever imagine. And the concept you see here today has some first. Sustainable materials and fabrics all over. Onyx glass on the instrument panel. Natural raw aluminum for the central wing. Genuine heat-treated lace wood along the interior. Recyclable microfiber suede for the headliner. Thrive fiber for the carpet, which is the most environmentally conscious fiber in the world. And a premium sustainable polyurethane material for all the seating and interior surfaces. But don't let the beauty of this concept fool you. Grand Wagoneer can pull, can climb, can tow, as no others in its class. With three 4x4 systems, 
quadrilifter suspension, independent front and rear suspensions, unmatched towing, powerful performance, a host of tech, safety, connectivity features. This vehicle will have it all. And this concept also has a green soul, featuring a plug-in hybrid electric powertrain system. It provides absolute and quiet open-air freedom while taking performance, 4x4 capability, fun-to-drive experience to the next level. And we added an homage to its birthplace with an American flag flanking its name and paying tributes to the brand soul and home country. Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer will be built here in Metro Detroit inside our Warren plant and production will start next year. Ralph Gilles, our global head of design, will now take you through the design story behind this stunning concept and provide you a hint of the future Grand Wagoneer. I have no idea what he was going about there. If this was a house, this was a boat, this was a plane, this was a country, what was he on about? Is the word that was wank. I think I tell you what, if we've got anybody watching this yeah. who survived watching that, and there's obviously shitloads more of it, so you can find that on the Jeep. Yeah, there's one that's 30 minutes long, so yeah, if you want to watch that, you can. Well, best of luck to you, because yeah. I mean, I thought it was wank. Yeah, yes. Um, Is that the wrong word? I'd say we were suffering that rather than oh. watching it. I mean, he was quite painful to watch. I was yeah. quite glad when it came to an end. And that's a beautiful car. Oh, what a lovely car. Um, have we got a picture of him, or have we got a picture of the car? We can have both. Yeah. Um, have a picture of both, but... I don't think that was the greatest launch I've ever seen. The other... I'm not racist. No. Right? I don't really think I am, and I don't want to go down that road, but they were going on about the heritage of... Why haven't they got an American doing it? Why have they got a French bloke? Good question. I mean, I'm not thinking against French blokes. French blokes can launch Peugeot, Citroëns, I've got no problem with that. But if you're going on about building it in Detroit and the American heritage... Yeah, yeah. It's racist, I think, that, but... I don't think it's, it's not racist. meant to be racist, I, I it's think just, it, well, it didn't sound right, all in a French accent. Yeah, yeah, true, true, and he was very, very boring. That was the worst presentation launch. I don't like the way Apple do it. And no, they, which I is mean, all, I never watched that. Really, they're really. all copying yeah. how Apple do it, because they seem to think, because Apple do it, we've got to do it. Yeah. So they're all doing these stupid Press launches. Yeah, or here, are. let's wheel in the designer, let's wheel in another knob yeah. from the left. <laughs> yeah. Talk about another load of shat. Yeah, um, but that that one was particularly unbearable. Oh, so unbearable. Talking about wagoneers going, the owner of a wagoneer wants to play golf, and wants to dine in the finest restaurants. I that would stop me buying that car, because I, I, I don't... don't want, I don't want to go and play golf in my wagoneer. No, I, all I want to do in my wagoneer is drive across a golf course, chugging it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, doing donuts in the grass. Donuts round the 19th hole. Or yeah, yeah. Do. Uh, um, it's just I'm that was. A few <laughs> you see, he was saying the wagoneer owner does this. None of those. I'm okay. not a wagoneer owner. No, then, clearly. No, it's bizarre. And he was sort of describing that all, any other Jeep they make is designed to go up a trail, which yeah. isn't true. No. Because they make the Renegade and all these people don't take them off road much. Most of them go to Walmart. Yeah, so. Let's go for an American. Let's go, yeah. That was Walmart, good, wasn't it? Or Target. Yeah, one or the other. Where? Target. It's not a really supermarket, good. like Walmart. Is it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Good man. So they go to one or the other, but I don't know why he was. It was almost like you, if you buy this, you have to go play golf. You can't, yeah. you can't go to the supermarket in that. And I will almost guarantee you, and please, please, if anybody got to watch this bit of this video, there can't be. Even our hardest one fan that we've got, yeah. well, he's not a fan, he's not, he's not, not a fan. fan. He's, he's just, what he does, what I think is he's sympathetic and tolerant. Yeah, he uh, works just because he feels sorry for us now. That's the one, that's the one. If anybody's got to this point, I don't believe anyone, no, there's nobody no, watching this. No, we can do what we like, <laughs> we, can, we can do whatever we like, because yeah. nobody, that no one has got rid of it, so we're wasting our time. Yeah, we're wasting our time. We've gone on too much now, it's but, too boring. But if you think it was a rubbish launch, comment yeah. down below, if you wish. We'll give you, you can, there's three things, it was either great, it was bad, or he's a wanker. Yeah, one or the other. But anyway, before he goes off on one, we'll finish. So, uh, <laughs> nice to speak to you all. We'll see <laughs> you next time. Bye. I'm sorry, I'm